Hey there everyone, it's Ryan from your Oxygen Forensics training team. And today what we're gonna discuss is using our Android agent to collect Google Chrome data as a third-party app on our Android devices. This is gonna be best accomplished using our manual Android agent. So to get there, let's go through a few steps to make sure that we have the right process and the right agent installed on the device so we can affect this extraction appropriately. So first I'm gonna go into my device extractor for my Oxygen Forensic Detective home screen. Once our extractor loads, I'm going to select my methods, filter down to Android devices, and I'm going to come here to my Android agent. Once in here, I'll validate that the device I want to use this manual Android agent on is supported. And to be able to get to the point of using my OTG to put my Android agent on the device, I'm gonna select this option down here, this first uh, yellow orange screen, and it's asking if you need to extract the data um, unavailable in an auto extraction mode, meaning down here with our via USB or Wi-Fi, please do it manually via the Android agent. So if you click this link, it's gonna open up a Windows Explorer, and this is where you can copy this um, APK out and paste it to your OTG device. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna select this, copy, and then I'm going to move over to my OTG device and paste it here at the root of this device. Once complete, I can close out of this. And now I don't really need my extractor anymore because everything is going to be done manually on the device itself. So let's go ahead and have a look. I'm going to make sure I unplug and disconnect my OTG, and then I'm going to plug it in to my target device. And just like using the eight manual agent before, I'm gonna to navigate to my files on this uh, Samsung device. So it's gonna be in its own folder under my files. I'm gonna to go to my USB storage, the plugged in USB that I have, and I'm gonna find that APK that I copied to this device. When I select it, I'm gonna choose my installer agent, and I'm gonna to choose to install. Okay, now the agent has finished installing and now I'm just gonna select open. And now I'm gonna grant it its available access to the device so it can collect the appropriate amounts of data. So I'm gonna select allow for each one of these prompts. And now at the home screen of our Android agent, we're gonna have a couple different options here. We have extract to internal external storage, take screenshots and record the screen, Extract third-party applications data, which is the option we're going to choose today, and then extract data over Wi-Fi. So first, I'm going to go in and select my extract third-party application data. Now we have to prepare the device for us to be able to collect this particular amount of data. And as you can see here on the screen, it's going to give us the options to be able to make these selections. So if there is no check mark within these boxes, we cannot continue with the extraction of third-party data. So first I need to choose where I want the data collected to be stored, which I want it to go back to my OTG device. So I'm gonna select change folder mm -hmm. and press select again, and then my location selector. Here in the file system of the device, I'm gonna navigate back to my plugged in USB, my OTG. And I have an extractions folder here that I'll use to store that data. Now we have our output folder selected. When I go next, it's gonna bring me back to that preparing stage. And I need to ensure that accessibility settings are turned on or enabled. So I'll go to those settings and it's gonna launch me right into the device's accessibility settings. If I scroll all the way down and find my Android agent, I wanna make sure I turn this on. It's gonna give me a warning about what permissions this is going to allow the agent to have. I'm gonna select okay. And then I'm gonna get back into my Android agent. Now we have two blue check marks, which means we can go ahead and successfully continue and start selecting the data we want when it comes to our third party applications. Now we see here, it says select applications to acquire. If they are bright and highlighted, that means that application and its data is available on the selected device or the targeted device. If it's grayed out or or more pale than the rest, then we're gonna see it like here, Telegram Web. That means I don't have that application on this phone and there is no data associated with it. 
So for this video and this demonstration, we're going to take a look at our Google Chrome data. So I'm going to select Chrome and it's going to let us know some things before the extraction. Do not interact with the device screen till the extraction is complete. Please ignore all incoming notifications and actions that occur on the screen. So it doesn't want us to, uh, to touch the screen whatsoever because as we'll see, the screen is going to automatically go through and pull all of that Google Chrome data as it switches between the individual screens. Make sure the device is in airplane mode. Of course, if you have to connect it to a charger, um, you can do so. And that would be by putting the OTG device SD card or micro SD card directly into the phone instead of using the charging port. Or if the phone is wireless charging capable, you could place it on a wireless charger just the same. Once we make sure that we've taken note of this before extraction steps, we're gonna go into our continue. And now it's saying Android agent will start capturing everything that's displayed on your screen. So as it's being displayed, it's pulling that data down. We'll get to see that here in just a second. When I select start now, it's not going to automatically start yet. We have to select the categories of data to extract. As we see here, we have logins and passwords, user info, history, credit cards, and that's going to be stored credit cards, stored addresses, stored user information, things of that nature downloads, any open and active tabs that the individual has, or I could choose all data. So depending on the scope of your investigation may dictate the specific types of data you'd like to select here. So you could select one more or all with that all data check. So I'm going to go with that all data check. I have the option now with the sliding bar here to extract all history, or depending on, again, that scope of investigation, I could limit the amount of history down to a specific timeline. So let's say I want the last 35 days and there's another options here for logins and passwords. Um, you need to include a, a lock screen code because it helps bypass the encryption of Google Chrome in order to extract the accounts or logins and passwords information. So if you have the ability to do so and the authorization to do so to establish a temporary swipe code on the device, it's going to allow you to pull that login and password information. And we're going to do just that. So I'm going to use this link here and go to my settings. And then I'm going to choose a pattern. And of course, it's going to be something simple that I can remember so that I can take it off whenever I'm done annotating the whole time exactly what I'm doing. We can turn our logs on within the Android agent to ensure that uh, whenever I am collecting all of my data within the agent itself, all of that will be logged during any interaction that I have with the device or with the agent on the device. Now I'm going to choose extract logins and passwords. And now I'm ready to extract my Google Chrome data. So let's do that. It's going to say, please be ready to unlock the device screen. So some of these third party extractions with our Google Chrome included, it's going to ensure or require that you as the examiner or the investigator is present during this extraction. You can't just set it and forget it. Um, there may be some things that you need to affect on screen in order to ensure you get a full and complete collection. And now Android agent is going to run in the background and collect this data automatically. And again, we're waiting for it to get to that accounts and passwords section. So we have to input the swipe pattern that we created in order for it to effectively collect that passwords data. Once in, that's all the interaction I need to do. And I'm going to let the agent continue to collect automatically. It is important to note that collecting some of this third party data may actually require an active internet connection in order for it to pull those live sessions within that third party application, whether it's Google Chrome, Signal, and so on. So depending on the type of third party application you're trying to collect against may absolutely dictate um, 
the type of internet access that may be required. So that's also another consideration to have when collecting this third party data, as we know, connecting a device to the internet could potentially have some negative impacts on the data on the device as it may connect to a cloud storage service and data may inherently uh, change itself based off the backup settings of the device. So just something to keep in mind when considering using a third party extraction. As you see that our extraction here is complete and there was an error that occurred with Google Chrome itself. So there may have been an update that occurred within the application itself that caused a bit of an instability during the collection process. But as we have seen throughout the entire process, everything was collected up until the last point of tabs. At this point, if you notice that there was an error in collection, you know where it left off on, you can go back to our extract other data option and choose to take screenshots or record the screen for the Google Chrome tabs itself to see those available open tabs to ensure you get a complete collection. Even though the third party application data process said that there was an error, all of the data it collected up to that point is still available for import into Detective and that's what we're gonna do now. It's been packaged up into a JSON and now it's gonna be available for us to pull it from the OTG directly into Detective. So what I'm gonna do is unplug this um, OTG device from my target phone and plug it into my computer and then import this into Detective. I'm gonna find my extractions and I'm gonna look for specifically when this extraction uh, occurs based off, of course, its date modified. So I'm going to grab this and what we're looking for here is my JSON or my JSON device info.json. This is going to be pulled directly into Detective. So if I open up Detective and bring up my extraction, I can drag and drop this directly in to import it or I can use my import option here on the home screen for our Android agent. So I'm just going to go ahead and drag and drop for ease of use and now I can adjust any information here within my import wizard and then select import. When this import is complete, we're going to be able to view that extraction and all of the data um, included from that Chrome third party application extraction with our Android agent. Okay, our extraction has been imported successfully. Let's go ahead and open it up. And now we have the option to view all the associated data, mainly here in our file section, accounts and passwords, and even that Google Chrome application data here. And now we get to view everything that was collected by our Android agent third-party extraction.